Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph and last time we killed a boss. Rain's gonna sit outside and Laura and Fee are gonna have to work out their problems. the rune maybe yep secret passage in the wall secret 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 tunnel oh there's more things to kill over here those so take a while guess what I'm gonna be doing oh I want to kill things there's stuff to kill over here I suppose Another fat bat. And there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Up, oh, treasure! Right! My turn! Okay. Let's put B in the, the front because she tacks a little faster, yeah, and that's not actually. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Fortuna. Another charging stations up ahead. There's a light. The sound's getting louder too. You must be getting close to the exit now. That's certainly what it looks like. Jesus, just how many secret passageways are there? Merchant? Yep. Golden juice, apple and orange juice. Yeah, let's not, because I want to buy weapons. Girl with a flute and two boys with a violins. Yeah. 
Musical Academy. Seems like this whole town likes music. Whoa! I can cash that in for some good money. Big base. Whoa, this is incredible. He could open a shop with all the instruments here. A piano, violins, wind instruments, a robust percussion section. I'm assuming the papers in the cabinet are all sheet music? There's no way you can call this just a hobby. <laughs> yeah, coming in here, this must look like some rabid obsession to you guys. You know, my mom was a pretty famous pianist. What was that? I'm kidding, I can't do Animaniacs. Being raised around music like that, my sister and I ended up sharing her love of music. Really? Looking at all this, I can see why you decided to join the wind orchestra at the academy. Still... Why didn't you go to the same school as the people we met earlier? Fee? Wait, Fee, that's not... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure this comes as no surprise. But I'd originally planned to attend the Music Academy. Oh. <sighs> My sister and I grew up listening to our mom play the piano. I take it his mother is passed. Dad was more the strong, stoic type. He didn't know much about music, but he was head over heels in love with her. Our home was always filled with the sound of music, and it kept our family smiling together. But seven years ago, Mom got really ill. Eventually, she passed away. <sighs> Called it. After her death, my sister and I both wanted to follow in her footsteps. She enrolled at the Music Academy and began working toward a career as a pianist. Naturally, I tried to do the same, but Dad wouldn't hear of it. It's one thing to have it as a hobby, but the idea of a man of the Empire making his living through music is absurd. Why? No matter how hard I tried to convince him, he just shook his head and refused to listen. Then he started recommending one military academy after another, trying to push me toward a career in the army. You know, militaries have marching bands. Eventually, I didn't have much choice. I had to give up my dream of attending the Music Academy. I hated him for it. I really did. I'm no good at fighting, never have been. I'd get smoked in a real war. But after some research, I found one academy, Thor's, offered plenty of music-related classes, and that about half of its graduates end up in careers outside the military. In the end, I met him halfway and chose to enroll at Thor's. 
Kind of pathetic, huh? You've all got great reasons why you're there at the Academy. Then there's me, who'd rather be on a stage than a battlefield. But I couldn't go against my dad. For a while, I started to think that maybe my passion for music had kind of cooled off. But I'm still full of regrets about the Music Academy and the Summer Festival concert, so... Oh, I wish I could just crawl into a hole right now. So that's how you ended up at Thor's. I had no idea. <sighs> Do you regret it? Coming to Thor's and all? Huh? Of course not. Why would I? Huh? So, you don't? Life at the Academy keeps me busy, but I still have time to perform with the Wind Orchestra after class is out. And I feel like I really broaden my horizons every time we go on a field study. Honestly, I feel like I get more out of Thor's than if I had just enrolled at the Music Academy without much thought. Maybe it's because whether I decide I want to be a musician or do something else totally different, I'll at least have the chance to choose what I want without someone deciding for me. Elliot. That's a pretty good decision. Wow, you've really given this a lot of thought. You really are strong, Elliot. <laughs> I wish I thought so too. I still feel jealous when I see my friends who went to the Music Academy putting their heart and soul into their music. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Besides, if I hadn't come, I never would have met you guys, would I? I'd regret that way more. How can you say that with a straight face? Maybe he's just oblivious. I didn't think I was saying anything particularly embarrassing. <laughs> I'd figured that most people would blush saying something like that. <laughs> Still, this is Elliot we're talking about. He can get away with it. You're the last person who should be saying that, Reen. Actually, I just remembered. I guess I do have one regret after all. Oh? What is it? Remember the summer festival concert my friend said they're going to be performing in? Back when my mom was still alive, she performed in it, and my sister played in it five years ago, too. So, I was really hoping that I'd be able to take the stage there one day, too. Yeah. Okay. I challenge you to a duel. Okay, tonight. I fear I won't be able to sleep until this has been resolved. Park. Nice and quiet. Oh, shush. Yes, Machias, we are seriously doing this.
put a sock in it. I got direct B is. Ah, oh, what a pleasant evening. It's pretty relaxing. No denying those two have some surprising similarities. So is it going to be a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-two? -two? Hmm. I don't see any people in this part of the park. I'm fine with here if you are. Ugh. All right, Fee. Here are my conditions. If I win this duel, I want you to tell me about your past. Your personal history. At first, there was something about your strength that I couldn't bring myself to accept. From the moment we first met, I could tell you were holding back. And considering your build, your combat proficiency is extraordinary. It's simply too far removed from what I've come to know through following the way of the sword. No doubt. Really? Yeah, all things considered, Fee's strength is totally improbable for someone her size. Her strength mostly lies in speed and agility. So it's not surprising at all. To add to that, you were once part of a Jaeger Corps. I can't say I've ever thought of the Jaegers in a particularly favorable light. I mean, they're mercenaries. If one defines knighthood as the way of the virtuous, how can the path of the Jaeger be seen as anything but corrupt? I can see where you're coming from with that. Jaegers, they're elite mercenaries. I came to believe that because we've been raised with such strongly opposing values, I could not accept you. <laughs> However, I was mistaken. <laughs> After hearing Elliot's story, I asked myself again why it was that I felt such resistance to fighting alongside you. I tried to ascertain my own feelings, slowly and carefully. And that was when I finally realized. During all these months we spent together, I've known deep down that you were worthy of my trust. Our values had nothing to do with that judgment. It came from my heart alone. <sighs> but in my stubbornness, I refused to acknowledge that one simple truth. In my heart, I had already deemed you worthy of trust. Yet in my mind, I still couldn't see past our incompatibilities. I suspect that contradiction was what prevented us from using our Arcus to fight as one. So, that's how it was. Did you know about this? Yeah. I noticed during our fight with that monster earlier. You aren't the only one who thought we couldn't get along. You live your life so... honestly. I guess somewhere along the way I'd given up on you ever accepting me. I see. Still, what does this have to do with wanting to know about my past? Why do you want to know? <laughs> it's very simple, really. I want to know because I like you. What are you... I find it frustrating when I'm not able to understand those I've taken an interest in or have a high opinion of. I felt like this several months ago with Reem, and I feel the same way now. That's why I want to know your history. I want to know what shaped you into who you are now. That said... This is simply an act of self-indulgence on my part. Nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. That's our lore, all right. Right to the really point. really are something else. It's fine. I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay with you? <laughs> it's fine because I have no intention of thinking of my reward as a spoil of battle. I'd much rather consider it an honor, bestowed for a hard-won victory. That's the same thing. Fine by me. You just talk things out. Why do you even need to fight now? <laughs> All right, I'll officiate your duel. Neither of you need to hold anything back. 
If I think it's getting too dangerous, I'll step in and stop the fight. Very well. Thanks. There's a powerful aura about them. So, I getting to... so yes, I do get to fight. Who am I playing as? Hey. No, it's a cutscene. Damn. Shatter. Target locked. Impressive. Same to you. Then I won't hold back. Allow me to show my strongest skill learned from my father. Then I'll show you my strongest. Learned it from the boss himself. That's enough! Yeah, there's no need for the S-Craft. <sighs> uh, I... I couldn't even tell who won. What about you, Reen? I feel bad saying this after volunteering to be the judge, but as far as I could tell, it was a draw. Really? Huh. Well, I suppose it is what it is. I'll simply have to continue my training and challenge you again another time. And don't forget, I still wish to duel you as well. Wait, why me? <laughs> Honestly. Because you're Actually, a fellow swordsman. I lost this one. Huh? Jaegers are at our best when we fight at night. The darkness gives us an edge. But even after I threw out a flash grenade, the duel still ended in a draw. If we'd fought during the day, I would have lost. That's... She has a point. Well then. So I get to learn Very more well. about Fee. I'll accept this victory. Hmm. Well, anyway... I guess the two of us should go for a little stroll, then. I don't mind if you listen. Is that fine with you, Laura? I have no objections. We're all in this together. Okay. I used to be part of a Jaeger Corps called Zephyr. Okay. Kinda Before picked that, up on the Zephyr. my earliest memories are of explosions and battlefields. I found myself wandering in a war-torn hotspot on the outskirts of some country I never even knew the name of. Jaeger Corps threw themselves into battle for the highest bidder day after day, while I wandered alone. The man who eventually took me in called himself the Jaeger King. He was the leader of Zephyr, a pretty famous Jaeger Corps. He was middle-aged, crafty, stubborn, and lucky. He always seemed so carefree, but he never let his guard down. To me, though, he was the closest thing to a father I've ever had. The other members of Zephyr had their quirks, but they were all nice to me. As time went on, I started helping with the cleaning, the cooking, the packing. During my free time, they started teaching me all kinds of skills I'd need to survive on the battlefield. One thing led to another, and I ended up fighting in my first real battle. I was... 10, I think. The boss was reluctant, but after the others persuaded him, he made me a full-fledged member of the group. For the next few years, we lived and fought together. I even picked up a nickname like some career Jaegers do. Sylphied. Explains your S-Craft. We roamed all across the continent together. There were hard times. Times when we thought we might not live through the night, but we always did. Together. Until last year, when our boss died. It was a clash with another Jaeger Corps, the Red Constellation. People used to say they were the only other Jaeger Corps in West Zemuria who could match us. Their leader, a guy they called the War God, had been on bad terms with our boss for years. Eventually, the War God and the Jaeger King decided to settle things with one big duel. They kept going for three days and three nights. In the end, they both fell. After 
that. The Zephyr I'd grown up with disbanded. All the members who were left just kind of scattered. I don't know where they went. Then, just like that, I was alone again. Huh. I... I don't know what to say. After that, you ended up coming to the Academy? Yep. Just when I was wondering what I'd do next, Sarah showed up. She said she'd been following the situation between Zephyr and the Red Constellation. That's how we first met. I told her about what happened, and she dragged me to the Academy. She introduced me to the Principal, and after that, well, you know the rest. That's... hard. That's quite a history. Certainly is. Listening to you tell your story really brings into focus how limited my view of the world has been. Jaegers are a... realist in real life are a private military corporation out of Denmark. They mostly work for the Danish government, but they are mercenaries through and through. But I feel like I finally know you. There's still so much more I want to learn, of course, but at least this gives me a base to build on. How about it? Care to mix things up a little? Oh. Let's do it. Looks like we get into a duel ourselves. N now wait just a minute. <laughs> <sighs> Draw your weapon. Known. I guess I've had this coming since the practical exam, huh? Well, it's at your discretion, of course. I doubt either of us has the energy to fight at our peak, but we'll give it a try. You've got to be kidding me! We haven't got a chance against them! Come on, this is a good opportunity to see what they can really do, right? Let's just think of this as a little bonus for our field study and give it the best we've got. Except I fought with Gaius. Uh, fine. But and I don't intend to form a back. combat. I don't want so you I to. I expect no less from both of you. <laughs> you have my thanks. Here we go. Now we've got a real fight on our hands. Oh, okay. They've got freaking S crafts. Laura and Fee can now link with one right, another. Let's do this! Oh, Give I'm fighting them! I'll handle it. Behold, my most powerful strike! Radiant Blade Dance! Here go. Dance. That's that. This is so ridiculous. There. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Even a little experience for that. Didn't see that coming. We... we did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you two. It's like they're off in their own little world. <laughs> I think we've just witnessed the birth of an unstoppable duo. Hey, what are you four doing? Oh boy. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Students, are you from one of the local high schools? We received reports of a group causing a terrible racket in the park. What in Adios' name were you doing? Having a duel. Uh, please, sir, that, this isn't what it might seem like. There's a perfectly reasonable, uh, though admittedly rather complicated, explanation for all of this. Um, we're very sorry for any trouble we've caused. 
We tried to minimize the disturbance to others, but it seems we weren't totally successful there. Hmm. Perhaps dueling in the park wasn't as good of an idea as it first seemed. Maybe the underground tunnels would have been better. You know, it's a little late for such deep insights. Besides, who do you think were the ones who started this? Don't just act like you're some innocent bystanders. And... They can do finishing blow with each other. Well, that was certainly something. And Machias is less than pleased with the result. Drinks are on me, someday! <laughs> I like that. Field study, day two. Huh? Are they all still asleep? It's almost time for breakfast. Oh, it's you, Elliot. Sorry, we didn't mean to keep you waiting. W what's wrong? You look exhausted. He is. <laughs> You might say we had a pretty eventful night. Look at these geriatrics. On the other hand, as you can see, we have gusto to spare. Isn't that right, Fee? <laughs> and you call yourselves men. How can you two just waltz around like that after last night? I, are you even human? I'm beginning to have doubts on that myself. Oh, oh, just calm down. What the heck did you guys do last night? A little duel, a little pouring of the heart and soul, and then another little duel, and then police arrived. The two of you look like you've been chased around town by wolves, but Fee and Laura are all buddy-buddy now. Yeah, we'll catch you up on that later. First things first, let's grab the list of today's tasks from the mailbox. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Only one's required. Another monster. Okay. Made for walking. Need someone to test a new product. I'll tell you more. Oh, no, no, no! A family kitten's gone missing. Oh, Okay. We'll be doing that next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I go do even more busy work to get good grades in school, apparently. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off. I got this all out of order. I'm signing off. I'm done. Bye.